Hi everybody, my name is Ki and I'm a yoga instructor here at Queer and Well. This is our throat chakra video. This is our fifth one in this series. So we've gone from the root to the sacrum to the solar plexus, the heart, and now we're at the throat. The next ones are gonna be the third eye and the crown, so stick around for that. But today we're focusing on the throat chakra and the throat chakra has a lot to do with honesty, um, communication and purpose. So we're gonna be tuning into that today, tuning into some a little bit of vocal tone. Um, yeah, so let's get flowing. Um, today we're gonna to start in a comfortable seat. I like to sit on a block. You can sit on a pillow or a blanket if you have one. Start to slow down the breath. Maybe close the eyes here. You can place your palms on your knees, face down to ground, or face up to receive. Starting to settle into your seat. Maybe noticing where you are at today. Tuning into your body, tuning into your breath. Allowing yourself to arrive in this moment. If thoughts are coming up, there's no judgment with that. Just notice them. Take a deep breath in through the nose, holding at the top, and then release through the mouth. Let that reset the breath, and then come back to the natural breath for a moment. With the eyes closed or the gaze low, draw attention to your throat. Maybe imagine a blue orb in that area. Take inventory of how you communicate, whether that's with yourself, with others. Just noticing, creating an awareness around what communication looks like for you. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, do it through the mouth, but this time with a ha, ah, letting it be a little bit more vocal, a little bit more release maybe. Another inhale through the nose, maybe holding at the top and then releasing. Ah. Maybe feeling the vibration in the throat. Do that a couple more times, inhaling deeply through the nose, filling up the belly, exhaling. Ah. One more time, inhale deeply through the nose, holding at the top, releasing with a ha. Letting the natural breath return. And then if ujjayi breath is in your practice, feel free to start that now. That's inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose, but you will feel as if you're fogging up a mirror. So it's like a. Kind of like an ocean sound. This breath is used a lot throughout yoga practices. 
So feel free to tune into that today. As we've started to settle here, maybe some thoughts come up. Maybe see if there's an intention around honesty, inner purpose, authenticity. Maybe there's something that speaks to you today. On an inhale, bring your arms out to your side and then bring the hands all the way up and overhead. Palm come to touch and then bring them through heart center. Bowing slightly forward, acknowledging whatever intention or word that has come up for you. Then releasing your hands to your knees. Let's begin. Open the eyes and then meet me in tabletop position. Move your blocks off to the side. Keep them nearby. Plant the hands, spread the fingers. Make sure that the knees are hip distance apart, arms or shoulder distance apart. On an inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze, open through the throat. On an exhale, curve the spine, engage through the core. Inhale, drop the belly, throat open, gaze forward, heart forward. Exhale, curve everything in. Do this a couple more times, going at the pace of your own breath. As quickly or as slowly as you need, maybe even adding some movements, getting a little bit creative, intuitive. Tapping into what's authentic for your body today. When you're ready, find stillness once more. Find a neutral tabletop position. And then inhale, lift your right knee and bring it up, flexing the right toes, coming into a position where your knee is at 90 degrees. On an inhale, lift your right glute and on an exhale, curl everything in. Inhale, lift it slightly above. Open through the throat and the chest. And then exhale, curl everything in. One more time on this side. Inhale, flexing through the toes. Engaging the glute. Opening through the heart and the throat. Exhale, curl everything in. And then release the knee back down. We'll move on to the other side, pressing firmly into the fingertips and, and palms. Lift your left knee, finding a 90 degree position, flexing the left toes. Press evenly into the hands, let the throat be open on the inhale, lifting the glute, and then exhale, curling everything in. Inhale, gaze forward, throat open. Lift, exhale, and curl. One last time. Inhaling to lift, open through the chest and the throat. Exhale, curl. Release the knee back down. And then walk your hands forward. I'm gonna shift back so you can see me a little bit better. Walk your hands forward, we're coming to downward facing puppy. So the hips stay where they are, the head comes to the mat. The throat is long here. You can stay with your forehead on the mat or if it's comfortable for you, you can bring your chin to the mat. Take a deep inhale here, filling up the belly and then exhaling with that sound.
As you're ready, bring your hands back underneath your shoulders, finding tabletop once more. Tuck the back toes and shift back to downward facing dog. Maybe keeping the knees bent quite a bit for this first down dog. Pedaling out through the feet. Noticing your hands, trying to keep your neck long but releasing the head. On your next inhale, travel to the top of your mat. Feet are hip distance apart. Inhale, halfway lift. Lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, press into the feet. Come all the way up. Arms come up and overhead. Exhale, hands come through heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step your right foot back. Drop the back knee, untuck the back toes. Inhale, arms come up and overhead, lengthening through the spine and the fingertips. Take a deep inhale through the nose, and then exhale, releasing through that front hip. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last time, exhale. Cartwheel the arms down, frame your left foot, tuck your right toes, step your left foot back. Plant the hands, maybe for this first time, drop the knees. Drop the chest, drop the chin. And then inhale, come forward, finding Sphinx Pose. So your arms will be maybe slightly off the mat. But what's important here is that your elbows are underneath your shoulders, your hands are firmly planted down. Keep a heaviness in the toes, but engage through the core so that you don't dump into the lower back. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, curl everything in. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to curl. One more time. Inhale, lengthen through the throat. Exhale, curl everything in. Release, bring your hands back underneath your shoulders. Release the head down to the earth. Press evenly into the hands. Maybe use the knees for this first one. Inhale, coming up to half plank. And then shifting back to downward facing dog. Take three deep breaths here in down dog. Maybe if it feels good, finding an audible exhale. Inhale, right toes lift up towards the sky. Exhale, bend the knee, open up the hip. Add a little bit of movement here. Let it be authentic to you. As you're ready, square off the hip, bend the knee back into the chest, and then plant your right foot in between your hands. Drop the back knee, untuck the back toes. Inhale, arms come up and overhead. Make sure that your ankle is in line with your knee. As you inhale, start to sink into the hips here. We'll return to that audible exhale once more. Inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Release, cartwheel the arms down. Plant the hands, tuck your left toes, shift your weight forward, maybe tenting onto fingertips here, and then step forward so your left foot meets your right. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, arms come up and overhead. Exhale, hands come through heart center, pausing for a moment. Breathing here. Inhale. 
inhale, arms come up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands. This time step the, step the left foot back. Bending into that front knee, drop the back toes, untuck the back knee. Inhale. Find length, find openness through the throat. On your exhale. Deep inhale. Exhale. One last time, inhale. Exhale. Release the arms. Tuck your left toes. Plant your hands. Step your right foot back. Drop the knees. Drop the chest. Drop the chin. Inhale, shift forward. Find Sphinx pose once more. Heavy in the toes, pressing through the pelvis. Length through the spine. Throat is open here. Breathe here for a moment. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, curl in. Inhale, exhale. Make sure the core is engaged here. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, curl. Inhale, release. Bring the hands back underneath the shoulders. Tuck the back toes, maybe using the knees. Press up to plank, then back to downward facing dog. Take a moment or two here in your down dog. Tuning in to your intention, tuning in to what things are authentic to you. On your next inhale, lift the left toes, find three-legged dog. Exhale, open up the knee, or the hip rather, find movement. Let it be intuitive. As you're ready, score off the hips. Press evenly into the hands, then the knee into the chest. Plant the left foot in between the hands. Drop the back knee, untuck the back toes. Inhale, arms come up and overhead. Start to sink into that hip. Let the breath guide the stretch of the front hip. Inhale, lengthen, exhale. Two more times. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Release the palms back down to the earth. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. Step your foot forward. Finding a forward fold here. Inhale, half lift, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, fold once more. Inhale, come all the way up. Arms come up and overhead. This time as we exhale, we'll cactus the arms out wide. Once again, audibly exhaling. <sighs> Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, release. Plant the hands, step back. Find downward facing dog. Drop the knees. Bring them to the wide edges of the mat. Toes come to touch. Sinking into child's pose here, releasing the forehead, feeling the length in the back of the neck. Tuning in to where you notice your breath. As you're ready, shift forward. Coming back to a tabletop position. And then we'll shift back to the foot earth. 
We'll find locust pose here. So bring your hands by your sides, palms facing down. Let your neck be long. On an inhale, press into the earth and lift everything up. Palms come off the earth. Toes are off the earth. Finding length through the spine, openness through the heart and the throat. One more breath here. And then exhale, release. Maybe shift your hips from side to side. If it feels best in your body for this next one, you can continue with locust or you can go for bow here. So if you're going for bow, you'll bring your hands once again by your side. This time we'll bend the knees, kind of like earlier in practice. And then on an inhale, lift everything up, reaching back, pressing through the pelvis. You can even stay here or you can grab for the ankles, pressing through the pelvis, rolling the shoulders back, maybe keeping the knees hip distance or wider. Breathing here. If the breath becomes hard, feel free to release. One more breath and then exhale, release. Bring the hands underneath the forehead as a little pillow, shifting the hips from side to side. Maybe feeling into the energy that was created from the poses we've done so far. And as you're ready, come back to space pose. Elbows are underneath the shoulders. This time, hike your left hip up to a 90 degree angle. Kind of press into that hip. We're gonna go for a supine twist from here. So you'll thread your right arm. While you open up your left arm, you'll thread your right arm underneath. And then your left arm will come on top. Finding a nice twist here. Breathing into it. Letting the breath guide the twist. The neck and the head are long. As you're ready to unravel, we're gonna go out the way that we came in. So turning back towards the left, shifting our arms, coming back into a sphinx-like pose. And then we'll hike the right hip up, bringing it to a 90 degree angle, pressing through that inner hip joint to create some traction and some muscle energy. And then you'll bring your kind of finger tent on to the right fingertips and then thread your left hand underneath, opening through the right arm, finding a spinal twist on the other side. Breathing here, keeping the neck long. Maybe tuning back in to your intention. Maybe noticing how your body communicates with you. The 
as you're ready, unravel, coming back through the way that we came in, pressing through the right hand, and returning to a sphinx pose once more, guiding the throat open, pressing through the hips, opening through the shoulders and the heart. And then releasing back down to the earth, hands coming back underneath the shoulders. Tuck the back toes, press up, coming back to downward facing dog. Maybe swiveling the hips a little bit. Finding a little bit of movement. Take a deep breath in through the nose and then exhale. <sighs> As you're ready, travel to the top of your mat and find a comfortable seat. I'm gonna to come to the middle so that you can actually see me. Today we're gonna to end in a seated pose. I'm gonna take my block once more so that I have my hips up a little bit higher. But first we're gonna to tune into the neck area. So find a long, tall spine, root into your sits bones here. Maybe close the eyes like we did at the beginning of practice. Lengthening through the spine, rooting down, and then letting the right ear shift to the right shoulder. Noticing maybe a stretch. Start to shake your head yes and no. Kind of massaging the neck area. If you want to add a little bit more intensity, you can take your left hand and step it towards the earth to create a little bit more traction. As you're ready, bring your chin forward into the chest, roll over to the other side, place your hand back on your knee. And then on the left side, once again, shaking the head yes and no. Noticing any areas that might be sticky or tender. Then for maybe a little bit more sensation, taking your opposite arm towards the earth. Letting the breath Release any sensation here. And then rolling back through center. And going for a couple more half circles. Going from side to side. Bringing energy and awareness to the throat chakra. Maybe gratitude for being able to tune into your voice. One more circle each way. And then we'll meet back in the center. Rearriving at the seat, noticing how you're feeling, where you're at mentally. Maybe taking a second to evaluate how you speak to yourself, how you speak to others. Are your words kind? Are they caring? 
Are they soft? Are they loud? Just noticing, not judging. We'll take one more breath together. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale audibly, <sighs> releasing. Bring the hands to heart center. They can stay together or you can place one hand on the heart and the other on top of that. I like to end my practices in gratitude. Gratitude for the ancestors before us. Gratitude for this ancient healing practice that originates in East Asia and India. And gratitude for each and every one of you practicing with me today. With that, I bow to you.